Okay, good morning, dudes. Try to knock this puppy out today. So I tried to do this yesterday, but it sucked. I wasn't happy with it at all. And uh, that's the way she goes. So this will be uh, Panantukan uh, basic punches and, and footwork patterns, part one. And uh, see what we can do. Let's wear some gloves today for a little bit of contrast for the vision. Okay, so first I'll go ahead and start with the asterisk. Okay, so the asterisk is the eight directions, as you know. See how close I can get to the candy. Okay, I'll just work the neutral or natural stance, right? And we'll start off with the uh, with the two straight punches. Okay, that represents the the center of the uh, the eight directions. Okay, and of course, if I have my right foot forward, this is my jab, and this is my cross, and vice versa. Okay, then we have the horizontal hook punches. Okay, we have the diagonal uppercuts. Okay, we have the overhands. Okay, we have the vertical uppercuts. <clears throat> and then we have the downward forehands. Okay, now this, this stance is, does not represent these angles well. Because basically the idea behind these angles is that someone's shooting in to tackle me, or I'm attacking their kick or something of that nature, so I have to back down and get that, that vertical line this way or I have to step off the line to create that vertical line down this way. But anyway, it's this vertical line that we're talking about for an uppercut as well as a downward strike, okay? So we're not gonna get into the hammer fists yet. We're gonna go ahead and do the hammer fists a little bit later, but the hammer fists are also a big part of this. I'll still be filming, I'll still be filming. Okay, all right, so. That's basically the asterisk. And remember the asterisk is uh, projected out in the high line, the middle line, and the low line, all right? So it's transferable to different lines. Right. Okay, so the footwork patterns today, we're gonna work our straight forward and straight back, as well as um, female triangle, which is moving forward and outward and male triangle, which is moving uh, outward and backward, okay? And then we're gonna use the two angles called lateral triangle, which is basically like a, a, an hourglass or diamond type of pattern, depending on how you use it, all right? So we're gonna start with the basic punches of jab, cross, hook. Oh, again, what I, what I was, how I introduced this yesterday was that um, ah, the term panantukan, right, it is a it is a Filipino term, but um, as far as I know, you know, it's not really it wasn't originally common, commonly used in the Philippines to describe what we do, but then in regards to what we do, uh, it coming the lineage coming from a guru, a lucky Lukai Lukai, uh, Ted Lukai Lukai's father as well as Ted Lukai Lukai himself, um, that basically it's uh, what we're working here is um, Western boxing influenced by Kali or influ influenced by the blade. Blade awareness boxing is what Guru Ted called it and, uh, and Guru Lucky just called it Kali boxing. But the term Panantuka now has become very popular as representative of Filipino boxing. Um, but that's a whole other story, all right? So this is meant to be uh, a little bit of action and instruction. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna take the first syllable of step and slide to throw my jab, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and slide up with the cross on my rear foot and, and come to a square position, all right? All right, okay, so I'm gonna step forward. Okay, and I'm gonna step backwards using the same line, all right? I'm gonna step backward with my right foot as I jab, and backward with my cross as I jab this way and this way, all right? So let's do about 10 of those puppies. And again, you wanna do at least 20 or at least 100 for some good results. And in various ways, of course, uh, shadow boxing, uh, equipment, light bags, double end bags, speed balls, uh, uh, heavy bags, 
middle-sized bags and human beings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's just moving straight forward and straight backwards, and again, two syllable steps. So each subsequent punch goes with each half step or partial step, however you want to refer to that. Okay, the next one then is uh, the female triangle, all right? And I'll throw my rear straight or cross. And again, the difference being on the rear straight is that when I take a partial step off this way to open up the, the female triangle, is that the rear straight basically is lined up with my shoulder and left hip. To whereas, if I uh, do a cross, basically a cross will cross over, all right? And so even if I step off at an angle or not, the idea is that it's, it's a cross is pretty much an angular strike. But the term cross is interchangeable for us. We'll call a straight across and across a straight and all that kind of crap, all right? So you'll get used to it. Okay, so anyway, we go cross, cross, and hook, okay? And then step back to the center again. Now, right now, I'm not going to be closing the door. I'm just going to simply uh, stop the, the tactic or, or combination where I finish and go back to the starting point. But as we progress here, we, we would want to close the door each time. And I hope you remember what that is by now. So we go one, two, three, four, so I'm after stepping at an angle plus sinking in rotation. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Okay? Then I'm going to use my lead hand and turn it into a rear. So basically, these are all cross cross combinations right cross, left cross, and right hook, and back to center. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. most of the time. Uh, with Tedu Kaibu Kaibu, we work vertical and horizontal versions, and of course overhands and uppercuts and all that kind of stuff. So it's all geometry, boys, all geometry. You have to fit in, be adaptable, fit in, and also sometimes force yourself, <laughs> force yourself in, okay? I won't comment any further on that because you know how you guys are. All right, so the next one will be stepping backwards on the male triangle at this angle. So I want to get that turn in and go cross. I'm going to go cross. I'm going to go hook. One. You'll also notice that most of the time I punch at around the height of my shoulders. That is more healthy for you to punch around that area. When you really have an opponent in front of you, then you can punch at whatever height uh, is required for you to punch at. If his head is higher, it's higher, it's lower, it's lower. Okay? But you'll find if you work a heavy bag a lot, uh, simulating the head, the head target at the height of your shoulders is a much better idea. Three. 
four. Notice the drop in the turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. So that was going backwards on the male triangle. Closed triangle, and the first one was open. This one is closed where the tip is in front, and the angles go back. The very first one was the tip is in front, and the angles go out. Okay, the second version, I'll be stepping back with my rear foot first, so the step has to be a bit smaller. Okay, otherwise it will throw my structure out of whack. So I go one, two, cross, cross, hook. Three, four, five, six, Got a little extra slide on that last one. Seven. Let me introduce you to something called chopping punches. Eight. This was a, a, quite a signature of Guru Ted's boxing as well, is that sometimes the shots wouldn't go straight out, nor would they be a proper overhand, but that would be chopping down this way, all right? And you have to try it out on a live human being to see how effective and deceptive it actually is. Okay, where was we? Eight. Nine. Okay, back to the straight. 10. All right, so that was your male triangle moving backwards. Then we get into the lateral triangles, okay? And in this sense, basically it's an hourglass, but it also includes diamonds. Diamonds and pearls, diamonds and pearls. So I go forward, forward angle out, backward angle out, turn and hook. Forward, backward, turn and hook. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, a little uppercut action there now. See where this leads to, at least to the entire asterisk punches. Nine. And ten. Okay, went low line, uh, middle line that time. Okay, so this time I'll be stepping backward on the, on the male triangle. So angle out, angle out, and turn hit. Step, step forward with my right and forward, I'm sorry, I step backward angle with my right and forward angle with my right. So I step uh, with the right foot two times in a row. This is very disruptive. This is not orthodox fighting in any way, okay? And again, just to illustrate, when I went and finished this time, it's missing the closing the door part, which is the completing the pivot step to reface. So it's always a good idea to, to do that 
but I'm just trying to fit in more material for you guys and uh, we still have quite a bit to cover okay and go back and go out turn and hook two more that time I did the pivot step I love my pivot punches all right hey dog get your ass out the way boo Get your big ass dog out of the way. Go on. Hello. Okay, so this one, go to the other side now. Step forward. Step backward. Turn and hook. One. Two. Again, essentially, it's cross, cross, hook. Except for the very first jab, cross, hook combinations. All of these so far have been cross, cross, hook. And also cuff or paw down with the punches as well. Looking for dropping of weight, rotation, and rotational force here. Stepping back and stepping forward, and again having to take a small step on this first one, followed by a larger step on this one, and a turn. So on this side, if I were to close the door, my right foot would come in back, and I would have faced an angle from that direction. But we're not doing that. Okay? So, one. One, two. Four. Sweat like a pig already. Five. Okay, let me chop down with the punch now. Chop down with one. Cross through on the second one. I'll do that one last time. Chop on this one, drive through on this one, drive through on this one. Okay, la. All right, so whew. the other thing I would like to talk about to finish off today is a uh, signature move called one side of the X. And basically, you're working uppercut and overhands on the same lines. And then on the other side, uppercut and overhands on the same line. Usually we put in the three, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, so that's your diagonal line. So when we follow up on this and use the, the footwork patterns, we'll be adding more of the punches and changing the lines of the punches as well to low, to low, uh, sorry, high, middle, and low. And so we'll leave it at that for today. And uh, thank you so much. See y'all tomorrow. Mañana, hasta mañana.